In this video, we will learn about navigating to the edges of the data using keyboard shortcuts. Often, when we work with data in Excel, we have the need to move quickly to the edges of the data. By edges, I mean cells in the first column or the last column or the first row or the last row. And there are also edges within the data set as well. For let's start with, for example, we, these four cells, A1, C1, C5, A5. So these four cells are actually the corners of the data set that we have right now. So let's see how we can quickly navigate to the four corners using just keyboard shortcuts. So now let me use my arrow key to just move to cell C5. So here we are in one of the four corners and I'm going to use the shortcut control up arrow key together. This takes me directly to C1 and what is happening is when we started from C5, C5 is a non-empty cell which means it has some information in it and we are trying to move in the upward direction and cell C4 is also not empty. So in such scenarios, the control up arrow quickly takes us to the last non-empty cell in this direction. As you can see here, the last non-empty cell in the upward direction from C5 is C1. So now that's how we reached the corner C1. These shortcuts actually work in all the four directions. So now from C1, I, am, I want to go to A1. So I can use Control plus left arrow key shortcut and the same logic applies. I'm trying to go in the left direction and I am in cell C1, which is not an empty cell and cell B is also not empty. Cell B1, which is the adjacent cell is also not empty. So Excel goes in this direction and finds the last non-empty cell. In this case, that is C A1. So let's see how Excel does it. So I'm going to use control and left arrow key it takes me to a1 directly and the same thing let's do uh, let's try to go from a1 to a5 i'm going to use my control down arrow key because i want to go down in the same column from a1 to a5 i'm going to do control down arrow key which takes me to a5 and if i do control right arrow key it'll take me to c5 we can easily move around the corners of this data set using the control arrow key combinations control plus arrow key shortcut actually can also be useful for us to move to other edges of the data not just the corners so for example let me move using my up arrow key to cell c4 and now if i want to move quickly to a4 I can use control left arrow, which takes me again to A4. The same logic applies when we are in C4, we are trying to go in the left direction and cell B4, which is the adjacent cell in that direction is not empty. So what Excel does is goes and finds the last non-empty cell in that direction. Now from A4, if I do control right arrow, it takes me to C4 and if I do control up arrow now it takes me to the last non-empty cell in the upward direction which is cell C1. So now that we have learned how to move from one corner to the other and also from one edge of the data set to the other let's now understand how Excel handles if there is a blank cell or an empty cell in your data set so now let's go to cell b5 i'm going to use my mouse to click on cell b5 and now i can use my control up arrow to move upward and it stops in cell b4 and this is because as soon as excel reached b4 then it sees an empty cell so it is stopping there so because this is the last non-empty cell in this direction before an empty cell so it stops at b4 
and now when I do control up arrow again it goes to cell B2 and this is because we started from cell B4 the adjacent cell in this direction is empty so it jumps over that to the first non-empty cell in this direction so Excel when we use control plus arrow key combination what it tries to do it tries to find non-empty cells cells which have data which is what we more often want to do so we want to find the data in our data set so excel uses the control and arrow key combination shortcut to move, make, help us move quickly to these data points in our spreadsheet now that i'm in cell b2 and if i do the control up arrow again it is going to move in the upward direction and it's going to stop at b1 because it is the last non-empty cell that I can find in this direction. So it is going to stop there. Now when I do control right arrow, it stops here at, in cell C1. And now if I do control right arrow again, you can see that here we don't have any more data in the spreadsheet on the right. So when I do control and right arrow, it's going to go and find if there is any non-empty cell and if it doesn't it's going to reach the end of the worksheet so control right arrow now it has reached the end of the worksheet xfd is the last column in a spreadsheet so now that is what happens if excel doesn't find a non-empty cell if it doesn't find any data it's going to stop at the end of the spreadsheet so now for us to quickly move to the data that we have, we can use control and left arrow, which will take us back to the cell C1, which is the first non-empty cell that it can find in that direction. I'm gonna do control left arrow again to take us back to cell A1. One more thing. So what if we use this shortcut if we are in a blank cell or an empty cell? So let's try, for example, I'm going to click here, and this is cell B16. And if I'm trying to use my control up arrow key shortcut from here, what it's going to do, it's going to find the first non-empty cell. There you go. So it is very, very easy if you are in a cell which doesn't have any data, if you're trying to move to the cells with data, you can use the shortcuts to quickly navigate. So now just to summarize what we have learned now, if your active cell is a non-empty cell, and if your adjacent cell is also non-empty, then Excel will move you to the last non-empty cell before an empty cell if there is one in the direction of your arrow key. If your active cell is non-empty and if your adjacent cell is empty, Excel tries to find the first non-empty cell in the direction of your arrow key. If it cannot find any non-empty cells and it reaches the end of the worksheet, then it will stop at the end of the worksheet. Finally, if your active cell is empty, it doesn't matter what the adjacent cell is, it tries to find the first non-empty cell in the direction of your arrow key. Again, if it doesn't find any, and it reaches the end of the spreadsheet, it will then stop at the end of the spreadsheet. These control plus arrow key shortcuts can help you in quickly navigating around your data set, try, trying to find cells with data, and this can save you a lot of time when you are doing a lot of data processing and then also data analysis. You will learn how these shortcuts are going to be used in all the future videos because we're going to be using these shortcuts very often.